Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Riva and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 playing Germany in the last couple of days of the Art of War expansion. Um, soon we will be in El Dorado and I think we will be playing as Castile. Uh, most people want to see me play as Castile. Will allow us to form Spain, maybe even get Portugal as well while we're at it. Just because we can. Yeah, let's have some fun over here. Uh, let's see, let's help out these couple of sieges there. Beat up a few more uh, Scandinavian troops. Let's drop a, uh, a small sieging stack here so we can just clear out this army real quickly. Bohuslan, that was pretty damn quick actually. Let's go to Vermland. And that's another army down. Uh, you can force march off and run back to Ingermanland. Yeah, I would really like to get something out of this war. But we don't have a, that much war score ourselves on. Uh, yeah. Um, France because uh, we are allied to, Gis to Guyenne and we are fighting for Guyenne. I'll just run through the boar because there are 3,000 units there that we can kill. Imperialism. Um, let's recall from Milan. Sure thing. Now the best part about this all is um, probably once we are out of the war we uh, might be able to uh, vassalize Guyenne as well. So that's why they also need to stop this war. Really. Um, Guyenne, let's recall for now. Ingermanland Nöteborg. Ah yes, back from Guyenne, of course we are. And that's the siege of Ingermanland. Do we have? Yeah, I do have it as a claim too, which is good. Oh wow, they're in Auvergne now. Let's clear them out there. Oh, Toulouse, going to Guyenne as well. Maybe now they're actually willing to give up the war because uh, they have something to gain. Oh, Rouer has just finished their siege as well. It's nice to see uh, allied sieges as well, vassal sieges. Um, Lithuania and Poland want access, they're not getting it. What can I build? Oh, I can build refinery. Oh, Baden can have a refinery. And we actually can have a weapons manufacturer in Sungau. Yeah, ooh, 4.87 here as well. Here we'll build a couple of grain uh, farms. Naval equipment is there. That's a pretty big one. Uh, let's see, a little bit further here. 7.31, yes please. And we'll build a couple more. Because we have the money anyway. We're only going to get more because of this as well, so... Um, there are a couple of buildings that we could finish up to. Oh, but I'll definitely get a level 4 fortress. I just... I like saying it like that. A level 4 fortress. So, level fortress. Lyonnais is being sieged. Well, we do have the Brits now doing some jobs as well. Scandinavia is back up to 17,000 people. Holy crap. But where is their army? That is the question. I do not know. They must be up here somewhere. Ekashus. Let's get it back there. And let's actually get this uh, navy blockading. Stockholm instead. 
Oh, we get a free ship destroyed as well. And they just sailed another one in there. Charlotte, fine. I feel like giving Labour to Guyenne as well. Um, influence actions. Yeah, it's there's a pretty big lead for us here. Okay, so if we were to see Super Peace now, we would have a 24% war score. That's still nothing. I'm just gonna hope that um, Guyenne decides to do something useful with its uh, war. And give me lots of stuff. It would be very nice. I mean, I did come to their rescue. Scov, let's get the column. Yeah, the, the slightly different Russia. Nerke. Let's go to Bergslagen. Leafland. Ah, counter sieged, finally. Now we're gonna take Raval. Hmm. I'm split in half, half of you goes there. Siege of Stockholm was already won. Let's take on Ireland. And that port is in here. Won the Siege of Labour. Let's go to Pyrenees. And I'm gonna give this one to Guyenne to siege. Maybe they'll actually take it and end the war at some point. Because there is a call to P. Holy crap, monthly war exhaustion is going up that hot fast now. Let's reduce that a little bit. Holy crap. Uh, Roussillon also now on Guyenne. Interesting. Where is under attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. France has been beaten. So who else is France allied to? Um, Scandinavia, Genoa. Uh, we are not at war with Genoa. We do have a truce with Genoa. For seven more years, holy crap. Vermland. Bergenshus. Ah, army found. It's 27 now. Lose some prestige. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Okay. It's... 517. I just want to be sure that we don't have to core anything before we actually switch over that. Uh, before we do that specific tech. I cannot soup. Can I soup? Yeah, I'm in junior in this war, so I cannot soup separately with anyone. That's, of course, the downside. See, all vassals and allies just sieging up France. Waiting for, uh, yep, we're now 18 a month going up. Plus 34, holy crap. We really should finish this war soon. 93%. Come on, Guyen. We know we can do it. Good, Raval has been sieged. Yeah, it should be easy because they have so much infantry there. Despite their very good leader, we'll just uh, crush them regardless. If everything goes according to plan, at least. Still got 80,000 manpower left over sea. And they're gone. Uh, competitive advantage. Okay, holy crap. Um, stuff happened. The war is finally over. Claim our rival's province has failed. Siege of Erland. Oh, we did get... And Ingerman land. That's quite nice of them. Actually, check in a second what else we got. Really? We just got Shaland. All the things they're giving me, they give me Shaland. What the hell have they given me? 
Holy crap. Um, this plant, brilliant. Okay, pause it. So, um, France will seat Le Bourne to lose to Guillen. That's pretty good. So, Guillen, they will not accept because distance. Ah, their base tax has gone up too much. Bastards. The bastards. Military power, royal marriage, friendly attitude, trust, diplomatic reputation. It's just not enough right now. They took two provinces. We'll see Shailen, Ingerman, and the Peskov to Germany. France will see France come and vote to Germany. Netherlands will see Zeeland and Ghent to Germany. Whoa. We take some aggressive expansion, of course. Um, so Savoy, I'm going to sell you what for nothing because it's a core province for them anyway they will take it regardless um freigrafschaft 81 that's fine Ghent 170 it's more expensive 192 even worse Shetland or zealand 114 see that's why i didn't want to get a um 32 and 106. That's why I didn't want to do the tech right there. Are you freaking kidding me? They overextended me? Wow. They actually overextended me, the bastards. Um, okay, I have to give something to someone. Um, Peskov considered this to be one of her cores. So we could free Peskov and do they have more cores or something? Not really. Shailand is of course Danish as well. Denmark has quite a few cores. It's a good point. Um, okay, stop the creation of the Shailand core. I need to get... Yeah, Schleswig and Lolland as well. That's not what I want. How about the Skov then? Yeah, that would be fine. But is that enough to drop the overextension? Uh, yeah, it would be. Okay, so I'm gonna free Skov for now because we kind of have to. Um, Peskov, yeah, we've gained the Kaz's belly against them. But they are a vassal, so that shouldn't matter. Relations, actions, improve relations. That's really sneaky of the AI. Getting that done. Remarks from Switzerland. We can finally upgrade our troops. I will take Frederican just because we're pro Germany slash Prussia. Um, uh, Polish, Ulan, arm, heavy armored carabiners. Uh, yeah, I'll take the carabiners actually. Scandinavia is no longer a valid rival. Holy crap. Oh, we actually get a bonus name now. That too. So, well, at least we dropped the river extension below 100%, which is the danger zone. Let's do that. Which means, did we get... An, we didn't get an upgraded heavy ship. No, we cannot upgrade them anymore. Haldern, Galdern, and you're going to Galdern as well. I need my trade fleet to come back for a minute and start upgrading. There we go, 60 ships will be upgraded. Protect trade in... Well, the English Channel is a bit moot. So probably just the North Sea again. Savoy, Royal Match, sure thing. We need to get a mission. Reduce overextension, I'm working on it. But that is still... Um, I will create a fortress in Sherat's. Would it be a... Yeah, that would definitely be a Tanai. There we go. 
Uh, troops in foreign territory. We have some unrest going on. Freigrafschaft is the biggest unrest of everyone. Also because they're Catholic. So I'm going to increase autonomy just to do that. So, um, Guillen, you still don't want to be... Uh, yeah. It's the border thing is the biggest problem here. We are separated by a few too many provinces. And 20, 15, 10, 10, 2. It's not that bad, but... Nothing really else we can do to increase that. But we are allies now, we're good allies at that. Yeah, I need to start annexing someone. I could annex Hungary, probably Savoy as well. Uh, let's. Whoa, it's expensive, but I'm gonna annex Savoy and Hungary. So we just drop those uh, things. Also, yeah, wow. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna switch focus to diplomatic just because I have so many relations going on. Uh, Guillen, that's... no. Mantua, um, can I... yes, I can. I'm gonna improve relations, hopefully, yeah, we should be able to get them in time. I'm gonna integrate Mantua as well. People won't like it, oh crap, we have a double army here. You, oh! Cock. They're now stuck here because we don't control Finn. Well, that is actually bad. We can have some ships, so I'm going to create a template for uh, 10 transports, because screw it. Transports. Yeah, fine. I have caps lock on. I don't care. Oh, crap. This means for now my armies are stuck up there. Yay. It's like, I didn't send all my armies there, but they got stuck here. 81%, a little bit more, and we sh uh, of course, of course we use it, use some money to get some more um, things. Uh, relationship can be improved. Yeah, the aggressive expansion will go down. But the uh, annexed member of the Holy Roman Empire will go up, as well as annexed the vassal will come and appear as well soon enough. Stock exchange. Oh. Yeah, we did get that in Tyrol. That gives us, wow, 106 gold purely from production right now. But we got, we got a lot of territory from Guillain just too much. Yeah. And now they are too far away to annex. Oh, well, they they grew too big to. Um, they were still as they are as far away as they were before. They're actually closer now that they took to lose. But okay, how can I get into a war with France again? Because I want to do that. Malacca and Pasai. Pasai, are we? No. That would also get us in trouble with Portugal. Not that that is so scary. Just checking. Country Portugal. Portugal has 404 light ships. Wow. That's insane. Um, I do believe Malacca was in the war with against us as well. Yeah, they were. Genoa wasn't so. Um, when Genoa gets out of the uh, truce, we should attack them and get France again. Yeah, sure. Let our manpower reserves recover for a while. I mean, ninety percent. That's only a couple of years. We cannot go to war in the meantime. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. And the final thing we're going to do is build some more level 4 fortresses. 
Oh, it's a little bit laggy. There we go. Now we cannot build any more level. Seriously, we still need a level three and Ingerman lands. Wow. Okay, all of the buildings we're currently building. There are many. Core Freigraph shaft is almost cored anyway. Yeah, we failed the mission to uh, claim Freigraph shaft just because we already took it in the war. There we go. There's a core. Let's convert them as well to Protestantism. I want to thank you all for watching, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. And um, yeah, now we can finally start transporting everyone automatically across. I'll uh, see you guys later.